April 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Joshua chapters 1 and 2 from the Old Testament. After Moses the Lord's servant died, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Get ready, cross the Jordan River. Lead these people into the land which I am ready to hand over to them. I am handing over to you every place you set foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the wilderness in the south to Lebanon in the north. It will extend all the way to the great river Euphrates in the east, including all of Syria, and all the way to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to resist you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not abandon you or leave you alone. Be strong and brave. You must lead these people in the conquest of this land that I solemnly promised their ancestors I would hand over to them. Make sure you are very strong and brave. Carefully obey all the law my servant Moses charged you to keep. Do not swerve from it to the right or to the left so that you may be successful in all you do. This law scroll must not leave your lips. You must memorize it day and night so you can carefully obey all that is written in it. Then you will prosper and be successful. I repeat, be strong and brave. Don't be afraid and don't panic for I, the Lord your God, am with you in all you do. Joshua instructed the leaders of the people, go through the camp and command the people, prepare your supplies for within three days you will cross the Jordan River and begin the conquest of the land the Lord your God is ready to hand over to you. Joshua told the Reubenites, Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Remember what Moses, the Lord's servants, commanded you. The Lord your God is giving you a place to settle and is handing this land over to you. Your wives, children, and cattle may stay in the land that Moses assigned to you east of the Jordan River. But all you warriors must cross over armed for battle ahead of your brothers. You must help them until the Lord gives your brothers a place like yours to settle, and they conquer the land the Lord your God is ready to hand over to them. Then you may go back to your allotted land and occupy the land Moses, the Lord's servant, assigned you east of the Jordan. They told Joshua, We will do everything you say. We will go wherever you send us. Just as we obeyed Moses, so we will obey you. But may the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Any man who rebels against what you say and does not obey all your commands will be executed. But be strong and brave. Joshua, son of Nun, sent two spies out from Shittim secretly and instructed them, Find out what you can about the land, especially Jericho. They stopped at the house of a prostitute named Rahab and spent the night there. The king of Jericho received this report. Note well, Israelite men have come here tonight to spy on the land. So the king of Jericho sent this order to Rahab. Turn over the men who came to you, the ones who came to your house, for they have come to spy on the whole land. But the woman hid the two men and replied, Yes, these men were clients of mine, but I didn't know where they came from. When it was time to shut the city gate for the night, the men left. I don't know where they were heading. Chase after them quickly, for you have time to catch them. Now she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them in the stalks of flax she had spread out on the roof. Meanwhile, the king's men tried to find them on the road to the Jordan River near the fjords. The city gate was shut as soon as they set out in pursuit of them. Now before the spies went to sleep, Rahab went up to the roof. She said to the men, I know the Lord is handing this land over to you. We are absolutely terrified of you and all who live in the land are cringing before you. For we heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you when you left Egypt and how you annihilated the two Amorite kings, Sion and Og, on the other side of the Jordan. When we heard the news, we lost our courage, and no one could even breathe for fear of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on earth below. So now, promise me this with an oath sworn in the Lord's name, because I have shown allegiance to you, 
show allegiance to my family. Give me a solemn pledge that you will spare the lives of my father, mother, brothers, sisters, and all who belong to them and rescue us from death. The men said to her, if you die, may we die too. If you do not report what we've been up to, then when the Lord hands the land over to us, we will show unswerving allegiance to you. Then Rahab let them down by a rope through the window. Her house was built as part of the city wall. She lived in the wall. She told them, head to the hill country so the ones chasing you don't find you. Hide from them there for three days, long enough for those chasing you to return. Then you can be on your way. The men said to her, we are not bound by this oath you made us swear unless the following conditions are met. When we invade the land, tie this red rope in the window through which you let us down and gather together in your house your father, mother, brothers, and all who live in your father's house. Anyone who leaves your house will be responsible for his own death. We are innocent in that case, but if anyone with you in the house is harmed, we will be responsible. If you should report what we've been up to, we are not bound by this oath you made us swear. She said, I agree to these conditions. She sent them on their way and then tied the red rope in the window. They went to the hill country and stayed there for three days, long enough for those chasing them to return. Their pursuers looked all along the way but did not find them. Then the two men returned. They came down from the hills, crossed the river, came to Joshua, son of Nun, and reported to him all they had discovered. They told Joshua, Surely the Lord is handing over all the land to us. All who live in the land are cringing before us. Okay, God, all day today, strong and brave, strong and brave. You know that Joshua is one of my favorite books in the Bible. I just love the stories in it, and I love how you're working within the people, for the people, against the people, whatever you need to have happen so that your will is done. I love how you use people like Rahab in these stories, God. A prostitute who also runs a boarding house and, and these men have stayed overnight and she goes to protect them all for the fear of you, God. She protects these men and she protects her family. I just love reading these stories because they're not set thousands and thousands of years ago. These are people who struggle with some of the same things we do. What is right? What is wrong? What choices am I going to make? And and yet all along you keep saying, be strong, be brave. I will be here with you as you continue to make right choices, as you choose to be obedient to my will, I will be right here with you. You can be strong, you can be brave because you have me. God, as we go through today, let us always remember we have you. We have you right by our side, helping us fight whatever battle that we come upon. Whether it's evil that we need to fight or our own personal choice of sins that we need to battle that day. We know with you we can be very strong and be very brave as you commanded Joshua to be. And part of that equation is meditating on these words day and night and being in your word. I know personally and I'm sure people listening to this will be shaking their heads, but I know if I am not in your word every single day, gosh, I can sure find trouble really quick. I sure seem to float away from our relationship really fast. But when I'm in your word and when I'm opening up my heart and my mind to listen to you, God, that strength, that bravery, that confidence in following your will just pours out all over me. God, thank you. Thank you that we don't have to be strong and we don't have to be brave, but that you'll give us that. You'll fill us up with that and you'll walk with us every step of the way. Thank you, God. Thank you for these stories. I'm so excited to read more about Joshua. And we get to hear what happens next to Rahab and her family. And most important, we get to watch you work as almighty God. In your son's name we pray. Amen.